Middle East Crisis In Gaza, spirits rise and fall with each turn of ceasefire talks when President Biden suggested last week that a ceasefire was imminent, Khalil al Halabi was elated. Mr. Halabi, a 70-year-old retired UN official, paraded through a cluster of tents in the city of Rafa in southern Gaza, delivering the news to people displaced by the war, prompting cheers and claps. But the joy didn't last. The next morning, reports that gaps remained between Israel and Hamas brought him back down to earth. It's a form of psychological torture, Mr. Halabi said. It's unbearable. We're told one day that the war is ending and then the opposite the next day. Palestinians in Gaza, whose lives may depend on a ceasefire, have followed news of indirect talks between Israel and Hamas with rapt attention. But a stream of conflicting reports has sent them on an exhausting emotional roller coaster as they huddle in crowded apartments, tent cities, and shelters. The tension is especially acute in Rafa, which is densely packed with more than one million displaced people. Israel has repeatedly threatened to invade the city as it tries to root out the leadership of Hamas.